I don't know, man. I, I, I can't say that I wouldn't spend the money for it, though. Like, like I like it. Like, it looks good. All right, so what's going on, guys? My name is CG Build, and welcome back to another video. Today, eh, we got a pretty cool one. This is going to be the first on the channel. This is a 40% board, and my first, like I said, on the channel. Now, I'll be honest, it's kind of a flex. There's no real point to having a 40% board. Okay, I get it. I know. Now, you can still get away with it. He's like, oh, it doesn't have numbers and stuff. You can still get away with that. Don't worry about that. But it's just, it's weird. And it's it looks good. I mean, in my opinion. I mean, just look at it. Right? 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 Looks pretty good. I know. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, this keyboard is from Canon Keys, and it is the Vicious 40. Vicious. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. So this comes in the gray and dark blue, but as you can see, this one is the dark blue one. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. It looks more dark royal purple-ish. Dark blue, it doesn't strike me as a dark blue. I'm just being honest. But nonetheless, it looks incredible. This is a CNC and aluminum keyboard, a part of their Brutalist series. And you do have to solder with this PCB. Now, this is QMK and VIA supported, which is great. It does have a USB Type-C port. And this style of mount for this keyboard is a burger mount. Kind of like uh, top mounted, but instead of that, it uses some O-rings to make it not so harsh. I do like the way this thing is fully built. It was really easy and a lot of fun. So everything included, you do have the keyboard case, of course. You have a black FR4 plate, the Vicious 40 PCB. Then you get the hardware, the bump-ons for like the feet and stuff like that. And an included polyfill, which, hey, I like that. That's because, I mean, it is going to be kind of harsh because it is aluminum on aluminum. It, it 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 needed it for something like this. I mean, poly feels great. Now, first glance at everything, dude, it, it looks so good. All of this, it it's so nice in hand. The case itself looks beautiful in this, they say dark blue. I guess it is dark blue. I don't know. It just looks more purplish to me. Maybe I'm colorblind. The machining looks so good. The back of where the Canon Keys little logo is, the Canon, looks really good as well. The FR4 plate looks solid. It yeah, I mean, it's stunning, you know? I mean, it's black with, like, silver around the edges where the cutouts are. Then the PCB looks good. Probably one of the most, like, better-looking PCBs I've had in my hands in a while. Now, I will say that because it is, you have to solder your switches, I was a little bit taken back from that because I have soldered before, but I haven't soldered since I had, since I found I have carpal tunnel, and, like, my hands get numb really easy. For the most part, they're always numb, like right now. <laughs> so doing that, I haven't done it since I've done that, but, I mean, it worked out. So if I can do it, you can do it putting that out there now looking at like the top part of the case you can see that it does have a thicker bezel really squared edges a little bit rounded on the edges of course on like the corners and it looks so good i'm, I'm a i'm a big advocate for a like a thicker like bezel all the way around just in front of you like, it looks more attractive to me like i'm very i don't know i just it it looks so much better than having like a very thin up close to the keycaps look it just doesn't look that good in my opinion now, after all that said i mean it's it i mean it's not cheap like even though this is a lot of good things and you're getting a lot of good stuff it's not cheap at all this thing comes in at 230 dollars now yes i i know a lot of the people from this channel are like budget friendly but I don't know, man. I, I, I can't say that I wouldn't spend the money for it, though. Like, like I like it. Like, it looks good. Like, as someone who, I, I wouldn't call myself an enthusiast. I, I feel like I have a big head if I say that. But as someone who, like, has done a lot of keyboard builds, like, on and off camera, I mean, would I buy this just for my collection? Probably. Like, it's very, it's, 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 it looks so good. Now, yes, this is my first 40% board, so I might be a little bit biased. But for the most part, dude, I mean... It, it's just so nice. I already know it's coming. I know. It, you're shrinking the size of a normal keyboard, and it's, like, uh, way more expensive than a lot of other keyboards that are bigger. I know. Okay? I know. Just, I'm just telling you the facts, what I know. I, I like it, though. I really do. Link in the description for everything, by the way. It is an affiliate link from Kenny Keys, which will help me out. But, anyways. Now, before I get into everything and keep going with the builds and the mods and all that, I do want to talk about the keycaps real quick. Uh, clearly, this isn't a normal conventional layout, so... Um, you want to make sure that the keycaps you're going to get will fit this. Now, I would just go with Kenny Keys because you're already on there to buy this thing. You might as well get some of their keycaps. But just, I mean, make sure that it can fit because as you can tell, I mean, it's different. You know, it's got small everything. <laughs> just make sure it can fit and you'll be good. Now, we're going to be moving on to the switches and then we're going to solder. So, switches, I didn't know what I wanted to use at first. But I decided to use the Kinetic Labs Husky switches. Now, these are one of my first switches I ever got, but 
I've loved them ever since. Like I've used them in a couple of different builds. A lot of space bars have been used with these just because it makes space bar sounds really good. And it's just, it's a nice switch, man. It really is. They also have that longer stem pole. So it's a little bit better in my opinion. I like long stem poles, but teach their own, you know? Now these switches going into this because I am going to be soldering. I knew that these usually sound the best with a tape mod. I, I did two sound tests, one without it and then one with, and you'll be the judge of which one's better. But I think the tape sounds better. They make... For some reason, they just make these switches sound so much better. They just do. It's not always like that. Like, these are like the only switches where I would be like, it must have tape in the board. So I did, did a tape mod, but we're not talking about mods yet. First, let's move on to the soldering. So with the soldering, I uh, didn't actually record any of it just because uh, it was really late. I just want to do it on my own. Once again, I do have a carpal tunnel, and I think I did pretty good, as you can tell. They, I mean, there are some mistakes, <laughs> but for the most part, all the switches work, and it's perfect, so... Yeah, there, there you go. Now after doing that, I needed to assemble the whole board, and then we can do the mods. So assembling is pretty easy. You turn over the actual top part of the case. First, you want to seat these, uh, what are these, little O-rings. You want to put them in first. They have a little spot for it on the top part of the plate. Then you put the plate on. Then you get the screws with another piece of that, so it's like double, you know? And then you screw it in, and then the plate is secured to that. And because we did solder and everything, the plate and the PCB are already connected with the switches. And then now I went ahead and put some of that polyfill in that was included from Kenny Keys. Put that into the bottom, make sure you kind of spread it all apart, make sure it looks kind of even. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's going to be a little bit difficult to close because it is going to be like there is kind of a lot you can do less if you would like moving on to the next mod we are going to be force breaking this thing because it is metal on metal so what i like to do is use two little thin pieces of uh painter's tape put it near where the holes are going to be screwed into and then that's it it just kind of sits on there and it just kind of forces it to break <laughs> and it makes for a way better sound test next up are the keycaps these are the earl gray keycaps from cannon keys these things on this board look pretty good i, I didn't have a i think the best keycaps put on here are all white but I didn't have any all white sets, so that was kind of a bummer. But I do think these keycaps look really good. And once again, I needed to make sure that it fit this whole layout. These keycaps look so good, man. I just love the thicker legends. Cannon Keys always does a great job with them. The quality of them looks so good. I, I just love Cannon Keys, man. I love their keycaps. Same thing with polycaps, right? The polycaps from Kinetic Labs. I love their keycaps. You have that darker gray with the purple accent keys, and then you have the uh, lighter gray with the black. Legends. Really clean set. I do like them. But now here's that sound test. Now after all that, I went ahead and took it all apart and then put on some tape because I knew these switches, once again, would sound way better with tape. So here's that sound test after doing that mod. See, I'm just saying, man, it's, it's way better. In my opinion, though. You can say tape makes all the keyboards sound the same, okay? This one, it helped a lot. Yeah, final thoughts, man. I think it's cool. <laughs> I think, like, having this as, like, a showpiece. Like, imagine someone comes over and they look at it. And they're like, what the f*** is that? <laughs> Very big fan. I think the mods, especially the polyfill and the tape, really helped. Especially the force. Honestly, all the mods. They, I think the most significant one was probably the force break. And then just for this build specifically, the tape did really well. And the polyfill just, I mean, it did its job, you know. But yeah, I do, do I think it's worth it? Honestly, yes. Now, would everyone use it? No, clearly. But I think it's, dude, it's such a nice board. I just love the way this thing looks. And I think it turned out pretty good. What would you say? But yeah, that is the end of the video. I am, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. We have a lot of builds coming up and thanks for...
all the views and subscribing and all that means a lot to me. So yeah, I will see you in the next one.